What's your view on the creative cr curriculum in within, within schools? Well, I think it's really important that schools teach the things that really matter. Now, obviously, being able to read, being able to write, being able to do your maths, that matters a lot. But I also think it matters that you can do what you're doing. So a lot of children your age wouldn't be able to interview someone, interview the local member of parliament without laughing and smiling. Um, but that's really important because that's a skill. It's just as important to be able to speak and talk to someone as it is to be able to write your name down or add up three, three and three or more difficult sums than that. So I think the creative curriculum is vital because things like music, things like drama, things like making films, those are skills. They're useful for the future. There's lots of jobs in those areas in the future, but also they're fun. Going to school should be enjoyable. And I think if you do them properly, you learn other things as well. So you'll, it'll actually help you with your literacy, it'll help you with your numeracy. So I think we need a curriculum that is as creative as possible because that way you'll enjoy being at school, which is important, but you'll also do really well in all the other subjects as well. We are in the green screen film studio here in the school, which is being used by both teachers and pupils to make learning creative, fun and engaging. What do you think of schools using interactive technology to help improve speech and literacy skills? Well, I think it's very, very important that you use all of the technology that you've got to improve all of the different skills that matter. And I think your question is a very important one because actually being able to speak, what I was talking about in the previous question, but also being able to listen so you hear what someone else is saying and have a proper conversation. Those are the skills that we all need in our lives, really, don't we? You know, if you're if you're in a strange town and you want to know the way to the shop or the way to the railway station, you've got to ask someone. So being able to speak and listen and understand is very, very important. And one of the great things, if I compare school for you to how it was when I was your age, which is nearly 40 years ago now, so a long time ago, you didn't have any of these sorts of things, you know, interactive whiteboards and uh, cameras and things like that in the school. And I think having that kind of technology is brilliant. It's not the most important thing though. The most important thing I think is still the teachers and the teaching assistants and all the people who work in the school, the learning mentors, because they're the people that really can get you enthusiastic and excited about learning. But if you've got really good teachers and teaching assistants and mentors and brilliant technology, that's the best combination. What changes would you make to the school curriculum if you were in charge? I was in the government about 10 years ago uh, working on education and we published something that we called Excellence and Enjoyment and it was all about primary schools and what we were saying about the curriculum was that the best schools do well in what people often call the basics, so literacy, numeracy, really important things, science, but they also have great sport and physical activity really good art, really good music, all the best technology like you've got here. And I think what I would do if I was in charge would be to say, yes, we want people to do their very best in English and maths because that matters a lot. But we also want to support schools to do a really broad creative curriculum that does the arts and does the music, sport and physical education, foreign languages, all of the different things because we all learn in different ways, we're all different people and let's make sure that all of us can do our very, very best.